This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Katie and I video, we will be showing you how to create and render a GIF. Before we begin, we must first prepare Katie and Live so as to get the results we would like from our newly created GIF, as I will show you in a minute. See in the upper left hand corner of Katie and Live. This shows what render format you are currently using, most likely to render video projects as I do. This needs to be changed in order to get a properly rendered GIF. So go to settings, scroll down to configure Katie and Live, and click. Once the configure Katie and Live window appears, click on project defaults. Once the project defaults window appears, take note of these settings. They are very important. Write them down, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do to remember these settings for future use in KDN Live. Once you have those settings in memory, see where it says HD 720. If you do not, then scroll down to it and click the expand arrow to the left of it. If you were using a different format than the 1080p 60 FPS, what we are looking here for are similarities to our other format. For example, for the 1080p 60 FPS setting, scroll down to HD 720 60 FPS. Notice the similarity, including in the window to the right where it says frame size 1280 by 720, 16 9. Once you have found your proper setting, or if this is the one, click apply and then click OK. You may have noticed that Katie and Live has not changed the setting yet. That is because Katie and Live must be closed and then reopened in order for this change to take place. So close Katie and Live. Before we reopen Katie and Live, I will show you why we are doing this. The first GIF I rendered as a GIF in the 1080p format. Notice the pixelation. Now notice the in this second GIF I rendered in the HD 720. See how clear it is? Open Katie and Live and now take notice in the upper left hand corner of the title bar it should now show HD 720 60 FPS or the render format you chose if it is different. Once this is set in KD and Live, click on Add Clip and navigate to the items you would like to use to make a uh, to make your GIF. Notice I have all my frames in their own file for ease of use. The reason they are called frame is I had created them within Krita and Krita named them and put them in number order. The numerical order is what is important here. See in the lower left hand corner where it says import image sequence? Put a check mark in this box. Then highlight the first image in the sequence and then click OK. This brings all of your items or frames into the project bin window. Also notice you can see your items 
in the KDN Live clip monitor and give it a test run just to see how it looks. Clearly, I can see mine needs to be adjusted. In the project bin, right click on the imported image sequence, scroll down to clip properties, and click. This will place the image sequence in a add slideshow clip window. This will give us the opportunity to adjust our frame duration. Notice it is set to one second. I found that 10 seconds worked great for my KDN Live image sequence. Although yours may be different. So do not be afraid to try different values until you find the one that works for you and your project. Once you enter a value, click OK and give it a playback in the clip monitor. If you are not happy with the KDN Live frame duration adjustments, in the project window, right click the image sequence, go back to the properties, click and readjust. Once you are happy with your image sequence, drag it, placing it on the KDN Live timeline and give it a playback in the project monitor. If everything still is looking good, it is now time to render your Kadian Live image sequence into a GIF. Click on Render. When the Kadian Live render window appears, give your image sequence or soon to be GIF a name. Then in the Kadian Live render format area, scroll all the way down to GIF and click. Once your render is finished, do not forget to put your KDN Live video format settings back to the way they were. I hope you have enjoyed this KDN Live video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to receive notifications your way. I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out. <laughs>